thing. Ooh, the Destiny Island! Nice! This is the tutorial, the main first, like the first world in the first Kingdom Hearts game. Huh? How'd I get back home? Sora? That voice again. Who's talking to me? Sora, are you okay? How do you know my name? Have we met? Gee, well, sort of. I'm Mickey. Let's just say I know Sora, and Sora knows me. We're good friends. Well, I guess that makes sense. Sort of. No, that definitely doesn't make sense. Yeah, thank you, Sora. Doesn't make any sense at all. You see, I'm from another world, and gosh, it's long. It's a long story. There's this mystery me and my friends are trying to solve, but we can't get to your world, so you, so we were hoping you'd lend a hand. What do I have to do? Just take a look around. We're counting on you. Well, okay, but fill me in about what's going on. <laughs> I mean, you have to admit this is pretty weird. How about I explore the island and you steer me along? It's a deal. I'll give you the details as we go. Great. Okay, so the first things we're looking for are glitches. Anything out of the ordinary? Gee, I wonder, the gigantic, ugly looking ass blocks, maybe. Well, that's easy, these blocks. How'd they get on the island? Perfect, that's part of our mystery. All right, all right then, I'll try asking around. Thanks, and remember, Sora, we might be worlds apart, but just say the word and I'll do my best to guide you. Just like that line from The Dark Knight Rises, people of Gotham, we have not abandoned you. What does that mean? That means we're on our own. The map. On the touch screen is a map that shows your position and where to find enemies and exits. Press select to zoom the map and camera out when you are moving through dense areas. Go and talk to everybody! Yay! Cause, you know, I just love people! Okay, girl, you're up first. Sora, where have you been? Hey, Selfie! Would you like, would you look at the island? We're up to our ears and blocks. Who put them here? Nobody, they keep popping up out of thin air. We'll all be buried alive at this rate. That's if Titus and Waka aren't six blocks under already. Jesus, you're, you're like depressing, Selfie. Why, where'd they go? Down to the beach to investigate. Well, that's not far, I'll go see what's up. Blocks. Bugs in the journal data have caused blocks to pop up all over the world. You can break them with the keyblades to reveal prizes or use them as stepping stones. Excuse me, Selfie. Thank you. Let's see if there's anything useful in these blocks. Nothing. Why am I not surprised? Well, HP? Whoa! Why is my, why is my uh, clock ability tree going up now? Oh, it's Waka! What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Sodaman? Things are getting hairy here, ya? Yeah? You okay, brother? I'm a Jamaican stereotype, man. It's been an interesting day. Where did these blocks come from, Waka? They just kinda showed up. Before you know it, they're everywhere. Except... What's that block up there? I've never seen one with that pattern. I'll go check it out. You sure? Yeah, wait here. I'm Sora, dude. I do this shit for a living. Auto jump. Keep holding the control pad as you approach a ledge and you will automatically jump up or across depending on context. Ooh, I got money! Money, 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 money! You need money in order to survive. Jump! Damn it. There we go. Oh, come on! World's worst platformer! That is Nintendo Man 64! There we go. And there we go! So that's like the, uh... Oh, there we go, the prize blocks, that's what they're called. The blocks marked with a star are called the prize blocks. Smash these with your keyblade to reveal the treasures inside. Gray metal blocks cannot be destroyed. Blocks marked with silver stars contain valuable items. It takes three hits to break one. Before we do that, let's head over to the stat matrix. 
And while we're there, let's give ourselves a little HP boost. What did we add? Ooh, we learned scan. Nice. Scan's actually pretty important because it'll let you determine how much effort you can put into a boss fight. If you're down to the last HP, last few HP points, yada yada yada, you guys get the drill. Uh, scan usually is a default ability, but sometimes, like in Kingdom Hearts 1, it takes a while to learn it, and it's very annoying because you don't know how long you have until the boss is going to die. It's very annoying. But, we have extra HP now, so it's okay. Hey, Waka. There was something inside the block. Really? Anything useful? Actually, yeah. Okay, Hotshot, then do me a favor. Check up on Titus for me. We split up to investigate. He can't have gone too far, but you know him. He's probably in over his head. No worries, I'll bail him out. Thanks, Broda. Wow, this game continues to get more racist. <laughs> Whatever, though. Stat chips. Install any stat chips you find in the stat matrix to increase your HP, strength, or other attributes. Nifty! Track down Titus or Titus or Chrysanthemum Blossom. I don't know. Ooh, prize block. What do we got there? An ether? Bitch, I don't need no ether. I don't need an ether, though. It's just an ether. Oh, you're a prize block, too. Yeah. And that's a blank chip. What the hell's a blank chip? Remember... Alright, what's a blank chip do? Blank chip. Has no effect when it's... Well, why would I want that? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The wheels in my head have been turning. That unlocks the next... Oh my god, I'm a genius! Oh my god, I'm a genius. I am a super genius. -ist. I really am a super -er genius. Okay, I'm not that smart. That was probably obvious to a lot of you out there, and I apologize for my stupidity. Alright, where's Titus at? Are you back here? Doesn't look like it. Well, oh, there's an item. A potion! Cool! We could use a potion. Man could always use potions. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's anything else around here. At least at the moment. Ooh, another box opened. Block. Box opened up. Damn it. I want it. Oh my god, they all reopened. Okay, new plan. Get as many of those as humanly possible. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Thank you. And there we go. Leap. Leap. Oh, it's just money. Ah, oh, okay, that's not, that's not too bad. Uh, where is he at? Wait, where the hell did the bridge go? Oh, damn it. Something's fishy. And it's not the cream cabbage. I don't even know what the hell I just said. Huh? You again! Go away, TJ Hood. No one wants you here. the hell is that? Mickey, did he just... Sora, I'm picking up some kind of signal. Wait, I'm analyzing it and, yep, no question, there's some kind of invisible door near your position. Invisible door? Is that another glitch? Let me look around, I think I saw where that guy disappeared. Great, I'll watch the signal and let you know if you're getting hot or cold. I think we're finally onto something. Me too. Ugh, it's about time. Locating back doors. To fix glitches, you will need you will first need to find a back door into the system sector. Use the sensor on the map to track it down. As you get closer, the sensor will flash more quickly and eventually turn red. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. There it is. That was easy enough. 
Oh, there we go. This has to be where he went. Well, here goes nothing. Enter this strange portal to investigate. Damn straight. System Sectors The data scape created from Jiminy's journal requires code to run. This code is housed in special areas called System Sectors. Glitches in the data scape are caused by abnormal enemies inside the System Sector. Defeat these bug baddies and debug the sector to return the world to normal. Okie dokie. Pretty straightforward. Buggy Heartless! Buggy Heartless! Oh jeez, I just, I just took out what we were supposed to read, but I think it talks about something about rewards or something. Let's get established. Sys some system sectors contain multiple floors. Defeat all the bug baddies on one floor to reveal a link to the next. Hold on a second, I want to get all these prizes and make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, oh there's one. I would have missed that. How much is that? Ooh, 51. I hope I can get good stuff with this. It'd be very annoying if I had to just deal with this without being able to complain about it. <laughs> there we go. And that's 48. Ooh, 155. Something tells me the way they're giving it out that it's probably not going to be worth, there's not, probably not going to be too much that's worth too much of whatever. Alright, exit the floor. Yup. Alright, this is a heartless floor. Let's see. There's one. Well, that one's not one of the real ones. I think they, they look like they're buggy, that's why some of them, like, this one's not a real Heartless. That one's not a real, no, this one is a real Heartless. I guess it has some Heartless and some not real Heartless. Jesus, there's a lot of Heartless. Holy crap, we're almost there! We're almost there! Don't make me lose experience, you bum! Ooh, I leveled up! Nice! Quick flip! Thank you! Alright, half of them are down. Let's head to the next floor. Alright, you're legit. You're not. Hey! Stop making me lose this stuff! Something tells me I'm gonna need this! Oh, another potion! Nice. Oh, there he is. There's the bastard! Nice! Congratulations, your Keyblade has been upgraded because of all the baddies you've had. Check out the Clock Ability Tree to see what new abilities you've unlocked. By touching your choice on the Clock Ability Tree, you can control which ability will activate next. Keep in mind that finished commands are more powerful at higher levels along the tree. Touch the tree icon on the touchscreen anytime to bring up the Clock Ability Tree. I think it's a good thing that it can add, we can actually level ourselves up at any time. Alright. I don't think that's all of them just yet. Okay. Is it? Map. So there's still one more Heartless run lurking about. One more Heartless lurking about. There it is. There we go. 
Defeat the last of the bug baddies inside a system sector to reveal a terminal somewhere on the floor. This is your way out. And I got all the blocks, right? Yes, I did. I'm proud of myself. Exit this floor, damn straight. Alright, let's see. What can we get? Power armlet. Sure. 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 And I can redeem it for money, or I can redeem it for experience. Let's go for the experience. We'll get it all the rest of it on a gift certificate. Well, I'm back in one piece. But where'd that guy in the hood go? Huh? Yay, the bridge came back. Now I don't have to fly there. I can be lazy. Whoa, hello, bridge. Meeting the Heartless in that weird place must have brought it back somehow. Debugging a system sector fixes a glitch and returns part of the world to normal. Why do I get the feeling that that's going to be a normal thing in this game? To equip accessories you find, you need to install them in the gear matrix in the main menu. Alright, first things first, let's head for the stat matrix, because we got a ton of stuff to equip. Start with that level up chip. Boost everything. Strength. Magic. No, we're not going to take that out. Defense. And a blank chip. So we can keep stuff connected. I guess more of it's going to come out the, the uh, deeper we get into the game. And I'll obviously be able to exchange it out if we level up again before we leave. Oh, wait. Gear Matrix. Didn't they say they wanted us to do something? Oh, there you go. The accessories. Install accessory chips to gain a wide variety of new abilities. Thank you. I will use that. Power Armlet. Activates the attack abil boost ability, which boosts your strength when you are down to 25% HP. Ooh, thank you. I could actually use that. Alright. Take out the block. And Titus, I believe, is on the other side of that thing. Yes, he is. What's up, fellow spiky-haired dude? Yo, Sora! Titus, there you are. Waka was worried. Man, did you see that? The missing bridge has just popped back into existence. And these blocks. Last I checked, it's not April Fools. What does that have to do with anything? Maybe it's a joke in, Jap in Japanese and we're not getting it because we're American. In America! Too bad we don't know what's causing all this. Heh <laughs> or do we? No way, you figured out where the blocks came from? Well, no, but I found a clue. Really? What do you think I've been doing all day, having a laugh? Okay, you asked for it. Uh-oh, here he goes. You want to know about the clue I found? You'll just have to earn it. All right, you're on. No holding back now. Okay, fine. Petus, come on. You're lucky, you're lucky. You're lucky, you little bastard. How does he freaking dodge him? Like, I've been onslaughting him the entire time. There we go. Obtain the potion, yay. To use the commands you find in combat, you first need to install them in the command matrix in the main menu. Item commands like potions are marked with a numeral and do not reload until after combat. In the heat of battle, you can only use the quantity shown. However, you can use them in rapid succession. Oof, I keep forgetting how tough you are. Just don't forget what you promised. I'm like, yeah, I'm strong, man. I'm like Gaston. I know, the clue, right? Yeesh. Okay, so I saw this stranger walking around the island. Uh-huh. Well, don't you think the timing is just a little suspicious? First these blocks show up, and then some weirdo in a black coat. Black coat? You saw that guy? Over by the waterfall. Then I looked away for one second, and he was gone. The waterfall. Got it. Thanks, Titus. Or Titus, whatever. Truth be told, I'm not a big Final Fantasy buff. I think the only one I've ever played was Final Fantasy X. And 
What did I get? I got fire! Ooh, that's a good command. It's a really good command to have. Can we fight again? That'd be fun. Got time for a rematch? Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, bring it! Oh, you little bastard! Oh, come on, man! Put up a fight, won't you? I get another potion, cool. Oof, I keep forgetting how tough you are. Just don't forget, loser. Thank you. What the hell is what the hell is that? Well, first things first. Let's equip some potions, shall we? Well, that's the stat matrix, silly goose. Command matrix. Let's do some potions. Test converting command. If you install commands into two adjacent blue slots, they will temporarily transform into a new command, which appears in the red slot. This red command is the one that you will take in the battle. Fire Edge, woo! Defeat enemies and your installed commands will gain CP. Once a command gains enough CP, it will be marked with an exclamation point. Install two commands with an exclamation point in two adjacent blue slots and you can convert them into a powerful new move. Nice. Oh, I got Fire Edge now, so that's good. Examine. No, I don't need to go in there. I said the waterfall. It's right over here. Right, or did they mean to go inside the waterfall, like where we were before? Probably here. 